Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> uh, this is the third part in the series, um, Living with Manjaro and Saying Goodbye to Windows. Today we're going to talk about infinality fonts. Now, one of the things that where Linux is normally lacking when, with the distributions installed out of the box is the quality of the fonts. And you don't really realize the uh, problem un until you actually install Infinality fonts, and then you see a big difference. Now, I'm going to take you through. Manjaro makes it very easy to install Infinality fonts, so I'm going to take you through it. It's a step-by-step -step process. I've got it all spelled out for you, and I'll put the process in the show notes so all you have to do is follow along now the first thing we're going to need to do uh, in order to be able to work with this process easily is install leafpad now I happen to like leafpad for text editing so let's go ahead and install it Okay, and that doesn't take long. And so now that we have LeafPad installed, we're going we're going to copy the first command, and that is going to be sudo leafpad etc pacman dot conf. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to modify the pacman configuration file to add the repo where the fonts are located. So let's open this up a little bit. Scroll down and right after the multilib if you put the cursor at the end and just add a couple of lines and then copy and paste this repo information right in there. See that? very easy now we're gonna save it okay so the file is saved but we have to add the key so let's copy the next command to add the pacman key and it's gonna go through the process of verifying and downloading the key Okay, key server unreachable. Let's try it again. Okay, so worked fine on the second shot. Okay, so now that we have downloaded the key, we have to sign it. So we have to obtain the proper signature. So and that's where the next command comes in. It's just a matter of copy and paste. Okay, now that is done. So now we're going to update. And again, just follow along with the commands. So now that you can see our infinal, Infinality Bundle repo is installed, we're going to install. Now that we're updated, we're going to install the first package, which is Infinality Bundle. And that's going to pull in three um, basically three types of fonts the, the Cairo infinality, font config infinality, and free type 2 infinality. So we're going to hit enter to bring in all. Now it's going to tell you that Cairo infinality ultimate and Cairo are in conflict. It's going to ask you if you want to remove Cairo. You want to type Y for yes and enter. It's going to do that three times and you're going to type Y three times. Then it's going to ask you if you want to proceed with the installation. Yes. Now it's going to go ahead and it's going to download and install the fonts. It's going to update the font cache and now it's done. But we're not done with the process. 
So let's go to the next step. We're going to have to configure font rendering. So we're going to CD into our fonts directory. So copy that CD command and just press enter. It's just changing our directory. And now we're going to link information to our the LCD filter configuration. And just copy and paste that next command. You enter. There's no output on that. It'll just do its thing. Now, since we're using XFCE, the next step is to go into XFCE and take a look at the configuration. So go to Appearance and click on Fonts. Right now it's got Cantorell with a 10 point font. So what we want to do is go in and let's load up uh, Droid Sans. D-R-O-I-D S-A-N-S. You see that? Okay, and you're going to select regular. Now, I usually go for 11 point. Just my eyes are not as good as they used to be, so I go to the 11, and I'm going to click OK. Now, you can see that the font changed, but you'll also notice that it actually smoothed out. What we're going to do here is unhinting, I always use slight. Now, on subpixel order, you're going to change that from none to RGB. And the DPI setting is going to be 96. So now that, it, that part of it is done. We're done with that part. Now we're going to go and we're going to give up, take a look at some of the options that we have for custom styles. So first we're going to copy some information from basically the Infinality Fonts uh, folder over to our xinit, x-i-n-i-t folder. Let's just copy and paste that in. Okay, now that's done. Now we're going to take a look at our Infinality Settings file. So copy this leaf pad command, paste it in, hit enter. Now you're going to see that these are your infinality settings. And you don't need to pay too much attention to it, but what I want you to do is go down, scroll here, you'll see that when you see export infinality ultimate, right now there it, it's commented out. You see that pound sign? Okay, we're gonna uncomment that so we can enable one of the custom settings. These are the available styles we have. There are seven pre-configured styles selectable by name. What we want to do is we want to select the one that we want. Now Ultimate 3 is a well-balanced uh, font configuration and it, that is the default. So if you want to try a docker and smoother you will take that comment out very easy and you're gonna change this number to correspond with this. So if you want a font similar to Windows XP, Apple OS 10, uh, dark heavy font, dark and smooth, well balanced, sharper and lighter, ultimate or extra sharp. All you need to do is uncomment this line and change that number. So if we put a 5 there for darkest and heaviest, and I save it I will have to reboot 
in order to see the change. But I want to see what that dark and heavy font looks like. So I'm going to save this file, which I just did. I'm going to close out, guys, and I'm going to reboot, and I'll be right back with you. That is the last step to installing Infinality fonts. That's how easy it is. But I'm going to reboot so we can take a look at the effect on my font. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, welcome back, guys. <clears throat> and I think it's pretty obvious the change in the font. Do you see how smooth the font is? Do you see how smooth the font is everywhere? In the menu, everything is uh, well defined, very smooth. Again, I've got the 11 point font. You might be happy with the 10. But again, everything is just so much crisper and clearer. Now you can experiment with those different styles uh, in that last file we looked at. And uh, you will have to reboot between changes to see what the effect is. But I think you'll be happy with the overall quality of the fonts uh, in your Manjaro system. So guys, that is it for this video. I will put the show notes in and you can just follow along very, very easy. Thanks for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.